All right, everybody. Hello, welcome, welcome back uh, to Echo Arena VRML here on Channel One. I've had a really busy night of streams across Channel One, Channel Two. Master teams abound for sure, and a lot of entertaining matches, a lot of highlights, plays, and. We're continuing it here this weekend with a match in OCE, a couple of them in a row, in fact, as we are about to uh, witness Echo Japan versus Talos. On the cast again to things, I'm Palador, and next to me on the co-cast, it's Wonder T Man, and how's it going, man? A uh, pretty exciting matchup today uh, between our, our new uh, Japan League this season, and then Talos our Australian team. So, looking forward to this match. Yeah, two yeah. two OCE teams. I mean, the it's the the case with every region pretty much, but you know, whether it's NA, EU, OCE, uh, all we're seeing over and over is growth. This uh, OCE region doubling up now even compared to where it was in season 2, and the, that's been uh, the case as well with Again, NA and EU just continuing to grow, so it's great to see uh, Echo Japan in here. We also have Tricksters, another uh, OCE team <clears throat> uh, based in Japan, I believe. And and yeah, uh, gotta, gotta love it, especially when it was only a year ago we had no OCE region whatsoever, and now it's starting to boom. Very exciting stuff growing the Echo community, VRML. Seeing new teams join is always, always exciting, new divisions and such yeah absolutely and with that well looks like we have ourselves the round about to start so we'll get around to it but in the chat if you guys are watching live or watching at home on the vod later on whatever the case we're happy to have you here in the right place and the right channel uh, so let's go round one it's gonna be taken it looks like talos off of this uh, immediate grab they got the goal and they had it open but couldn't convert quite there as it will be connect molly sending it to the midfield here by snicket passing it oh just barely missing the pass here to um looks like it will be recovered by musco bear passing it back to usual sayo who is not covered, makes the back pass to Snicket again, passes it down to the floor. Not quite on target, but almost able to be recovered here. And picked up by Echo Japan. Clears it down to the other side. Clears and it right into the goal. Up to three. Wow. Oh, that was nuts. First three yeah. First, th yeah, first three. Uh, Echo Japan immediately. How about that? Uh, they were celebrating, they were happy, and they are hyped, and I'm hyped, because that was a big hit to get started uh, one way or the other. And we're only a minute in, so it's going to be up to Talos now to return and provide something uh, quite similar if they can, and see if they can score here. Here we have Musco Bear with the disc, makes a pass to usual Sayo. Holds on to it for a while, not covered. Stacks coming in, gets stunned out there by Connect. Molly picked up by Newton. But will be stolen by Japan. Uh, and then to the trap, it's gonna be snagged by Connect Molly. Connect looking through that tunnel, gonna bounce it off that wedge. So taken by Snicket One. Snicket looking to send it, and that's gonna bounce high, bounce mid, and be slapped back into the mid lane where Newton Horse collects it. Newton has uh, some options, but a soft pass, but the teammate had just left the anchor, unfortunately. So now it's going to be a deep heave into the blue. All the meanwhile, just trying to gather these stacks for both of the teams quite quickly. It will be recovered first by Molly, who tries to eye it down, has that pass to the side. Oh, that one is going to miss on the connection. So now defense for Talos here. Now we have just floating around in the um, Talos side. Luke VR takes it. Holding onto it for a while, not covered still. Looking to make a pass here, but stolen and recovered. Almost recovered, but then recovered again by Echo Japan. Ooh. Goes for the shot, but saved by Snicket. And then picked up here by Luke VR. Goes for the shot, but saved again, or stolen there rather, by Musco. Who is completely open for now, waiting for those stacks to come in. Goes for the shot and hits a long three from the uh, Bowtie area for a long three, this time for Talos, tying up the round. Hmm. Must go, and they must go. Yeah, uh, they keep and keep that up for nothing, if nothing else, because that three minutes in, that was just a great shot. Really soft at that on the release, but you know, the stacks were so delayed, 
It gave him time, that said. Oh, oh they no. just lose the disc here. A miscommunication a needs to get rid here. of it real quickly, and Luke VR does just that, so could have been a bad situation, but instead, uh, at least now they'll be able to recover on the defense as Snicket picks it and sends it to Newton Horse. Not to be confused with Newton Dad, who is in fact in the chat. Uh, but that said, into the tunnel as Snicket tries to get it once again. But another clear that's just going to be intercepted by Nor. So Echo Japan now, uh, maybe after a, a few disjointed plays, they'll be able to get right back into it. And uh, unfortunately, as I say that, it gets picked off at the midfield. So Newton Horse with a disc and being stunned. Up here by Echo Japan again, makes the clear, but bouncing around here, not able to find a teammate's hand. Picked up now by Snicket of Talos, makes a pass over to Newton Horse who is getting cover, getting stunned, but almost getting the pass off. Looks like it will be able to be recovered by Echo Japan. and Or not Echo Japan, sorry. Talos goes for the shot, just bouncing off the ring there. And then recovered now by Echo Japan. And I who will be taking it into the tunnel, but gets stolen by Musco. And hold on. A another Look. long shot. This match full of long shots here. Only threes on the board so far. Mus with Talos in the lead now. Musco doing a great job uh, here, Wonder, and, and it's just... That's that's two big shots from three. W hit with a calm demeanor about him. 11 meters a second. I mean, they weren't the speediest in the world. Didn't need to be, because again, the defense uh, wasn't able to get back both times. So, you know, easy does it, and just finding their, the, the sight, the line of sight on that goal, and looking real good for it as Japan, Echo Japan follows behind by three points now. Talos with the disc again, making the clear into the Echo Japan side. Looks like on a dangerous trajectory, but getting picked up by Nor, who will clear it out back into the Talos side, where it will be recovered by Snicket now. Going for the clear, but hitting an unfortunate bounce off the Geo, and will be picked up, luckily, by Musco, who will slap it into the other side. Waiting to be recovered. Recovered by usual, unusual, usual, sorry. Unusual, not unusual, Sayo. And uh, then so someone, up here. someone go call Tom Jones real quick, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be picked up on the other side here. As oh, my controller dies for a second, but keeping their uh, their team alive, perhaps if that shot had been made, that would have tied it with 427 left. As Japan, uh, Kaz Japan gets that disc. A nice move. Wow, windmills it through to bring it within one. That was a nice one. Oh no, and the dab. Oh no, and the double dab. I'm done. Dabs in here. That was the first two pointer of the match. Surprising into the almost five minutes in, over five minutes in. You first get, time hitting not a long shot. You get double points for, for double dabbing, or maybe you get points taken away. I'm not quite sure. Either way, that was a stellar. That was stellar. Depends from on Kaz. the situation, I'd say. Yeah, fair, fair enough. Uh, for Talos, they're in a situation where they have a small lead, not by much. There's 347 left in this first round. These teams jostling for position, trying to uh, build up their stacks to the front line, and they do get there quickly as Musco uh, gets the disc actually lost, knocked out, and Connect Molly coming away with it. Has some teammates on the side, but gets stunned as Newton Horse clears and through that tunnel will be taken back. It's looking like by Echo Japan. Bounces right into the hands of Echo Japan there. Will be going for the clear, but unable to clear it, but gets recovered again. Now we have Musco with the slap and almost another long shot, looks like. But recovered by Echo Japan, who will go for a clear or a pass. Um, still in their side and in the hands of Talos. Who, but recovered this time by Echo Japan again. Making attempting clears, just not able to clear it yet. Still again, Echo Japan, but stolen by Snicket, who goes for a long shot, but there is a goalie. Luke VR will pick it up. Clears it this time, but stolen or intercepted rather by Musco. Passes to, to usual. Man, why can't I get that name right? It's usual not sale. Unusual. Not there you go. It's and 9 to 5, though, and they're working hard like Dolly Parton, aren't they? It's another three pointer, not unusual either in this match, full of threes still. Now, oh, pardon me then. And we have now Echo Japan Nothing. with Joust Advantage. And normally Going in Nor with the disc passes, misses the pass to Cloud where Luke VR will pick it up. Going for a clear, clears it out and will be now in Talos' side. 
Normally I get a reaction from those puns. I'm, I'm ashamed, I'm ashamed, I'm gonna hide, but right now trying to find that disc, it's gonna be taken here on the stride by Connect Molly. Actually, no, missing the connection, but Japan shall not. Sending it over to the islands, but taken back by Bear, and trying to bear with it as it's a four point advantage with less than two minutes here in the game. In the first round, a clear successful, a clear out, and a leech, and a punch, and a punch coming in from the Bear with the Bear arms. Uh, he has a right to. Uh, to be honest, I, I didn't get it. I don't get it. I don't get that pun you made. Sorry for the non-reaction, but I just don't get it. Dolly, pardon, Uncle pardon me, myself. pardon you. This is horrible. <laughs> I, I've never felt I, so ashamed to miss a pun, but nonetheless. I still don't get it. What am I missing? <sighs> no, don't, don't explain nine, it. Two, five, what, you know, Dolly Parton, that, that Parton. Yeah, I'm uncultured. So don't okay. worry about me. I'm sure the, Look, the Dolly, chat enjoyed it. Listen yeah, to me. Yeah, there we go. Do Newton Do died in the chat. Dolly Parton is a saint, okay? You gotta give it oh. to her. But that said, okay. it's a Luke VR with a disc and sending it over as it's gonna be snagged, uh, looking like by Japan, Kaz Japan, as Kaz tries to top a tap off the wall, but instead gets dropped off by the punch, kind of a walk by and just gently uh, now on the clear. Less than a minute. Four point advantage going for Talos, but still some time uh, in it for Echo Japan as they clear. Yes, now we'll be picked up by Nor of Echo Japan going for a clear or a pass. Gets the clear off and picked up by Snicket now, who will clear it again into Echo Japan's side where it will be saved, not saved, picked up by Kaz Japan. And still in Echo Japan's side, but will be picked up by Kaz Japan again. Going for a clear here. Going for a possibly a trench shot sort of thing. And then it will be picked up now by Luke VR. Goes oh. for the shot, but saved by Musco Bear. Goes for the clear here, or passes to the usual Seo, who goes for a last minute long Jeez. three, just dinging off the shield. But that will be round one over, going to Talos. Yeah, well, hey, uh, nine to five, it does finish off in the first round as we uh, head here to the score screen real quick. And second round, let's see if Echo Japan could make a return. Uh, definitely have impressed in recent weeks when I've seen them, uh, especially for being such a new team to uh, the game as well as to VRML. I mean, they've shown some great stuff uh, here and looking for uh, their, their second win on the season if they can. For Talos, looking to uh, improve that record if they... They can to the four and five with the win here, depending. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, not uh, just just great enough to give make me do some jazz hands here, maybe for that win. The problem with jazz hands is you can't really see it. Yeah, <laughs> unless yeah, you're I'm in the game. Listen to my jazz hand sounds. Do you hear it? No, I'm not sure. I, hear it. I'm not sure. I want to hear your your hand sounds. That sounds weird, but oh, okay. But uh, that, trust me, I'm doing jazz hands. That said, we got a timeout. It looks like a couple of the players had uh, parted for Japan, so now they're actually down to two in the game at the moment. So uh, got one back. I'm not sure what the deal is. I know ping is a little bit high-ish, but it is within the OCE regulations. That is to say, uh, a bit more of a open shot here, just barely missing for it, Halos. It, it, it's uh, it's it's still paused, my friend. Oh, we're paused. Wow. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, well, that said, bad, Newton horse with still, a disc. It's a very exciting naked. pause. It's a very exciting practice match. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll just cast this for practice. Why not? Yeah, let's cast this. Picked up here by usual Seo has an open shot. Takes this shot. Okay, we're unpaused. Yeah. So uh, taking a there look here yeah. as his teams get back into the match with. Well, oh, eighteen. It's okay. It's awkward here because it's unpaused. I thought it had ended, but actually it was, they, they paused, was it in the middle of, uh, actually, yeah, I think it was, I'm, I'm very, so, I'm very confused yeah. because they dropped the player as the game was ending, but then they paused it as, so, cause you only get one time out, right? So it was interesting that they expended it on that one. Um, no, okay. No, it's back to, Never mind. We're all confused here. It looks like it's good to go. So round two will be underway. Now again, Talos looking to get that, that four and five record and Japan they've won once they're trying to do it again here with a second round uh, and they'll launch off and we'll see we'll see but Here's as I said for new teams team. they are pretty promising so far just want to make sure this isn't a pause right we're actually playing now uh, maybe I don't know okay I think we're playing so we'll start casting now yeah. here we have 
in Echo Japan's side in possession of Talos, who goes for the bounce shot on the stun goalie. Makes the first two points for Talos by Newton Horse. All right. In two, this not paused section. Two points for game. Talos. Uh, 30 seconds in. Lucy Goosey over in the chat saying, Pally, we have the same mic. Yeah, uh, Quadcast. Quite a fan, quite a fan indeed. Uh, credit to HyperX for providing it, but I like it. I love it. Want some more of it. Uh, am I still too deep into the list of old songs because I can go a little bit more modern? Don't want to be too too boomerish as booming in for Fancy. the goal is Japan Kaz, and they got the first Fancy. two points. That that fancy, I said fancy three times, but yeah, it was fancy, fancy too by uh, Kaz Japan. Maybe there. you're just in the spear. We're an OCE. You're just doing a little Iggy Azalea because we're so fancy and he's so fancy, and we already know uh, they are in fact in the fast lane, and LA and in Tokyo as Musco gets the disc and sends it over to Usual Sayo. That's what I do when I'm rapping. I say yo. <laughs> I'm sorry, I tried to give you a reaction. Eh, but, it, it didn't yeah, deserve it one. It was a good pun. Well, Newton Horse with a pass over. Usual, couldn't quite catch it. Uh, we'll actually get it on the second attempt, so grabbing, sending right below the boots. Uh, Newton Horse now backing out. Some good aggression from Echo Japan on the defense. You can see they're contesting pretty hard outside this bubble on a lot of these, these players. Now, that disc does get loose, but let's see, a chance to recover as they go head-to-head, -head, uh, Kaz. Gets a stun, but Usual gets the disc right back for him. Usual now looking to make a pass probably to that boot, but makes a bounce off the shield. Recovered here by Luke VR, who will go for a clear, makes a clear down into Talos' side. Waiting to get their stacks together here, but will be picked up first by Talos. And cleared again, but intercepted by Jun Suzaku who will try to juke out Usual Seo here and makes the pass over to Kaz Japan, looking for a shot but stolen by Musco Bear, who will make a clear down into Echo Japan's side. All right, so down by the trench will be snagged up uh, as the stacks attempt to come through. Everyone uh, actually overshooting there for uh, the side of Talos, so we'll be back to Echo Japan. They're going to send it off. Uh, and actually off the head, so that's going to bounce back kind of awkwardly towards June and Usual, but Usual gets that grab, uh, Musco gets that as well, but now it's Japan with the disc on offense once more, got to be careful as they send it on a bouncer to the bubble. Up now by Talos, is able to keep it out of the goal, picked up now by Jun Suzaku, who will get stunned out and picked up, stolen here by Yuki who will send it toward the goal, but picked up by Snicket now. Trying to go for the clear, not quite clear yet. Picked up by Echo Japan, who will take their time. Not covered yet. Goes for the pass to Kazat Nest, who goes for another fancy shot for two points. Another two for Echo oh. Japan. Oh no. Oh, the dabs. That's a stab in the gut. <laughs> I, I jest, of course, mostly. Uh, I, in reality, I love the fact that in Echo we get to see, we get to see the physicality of those uh, uh, post goal celebrations. Actually, one of my more favorite things. But you know, gotta ham it up, of course. Uh, the dabs, such always such a thing of controversy here in the Echo scene, and we've seen it quite a bit. I'm still on board with it on the whole, but I, I can yeah, also I not not groan so much. Maybe, maybe, maybe the way I look at uh, dabs and groan at them is the same way people consider the puns sometimes. I don't know. So you know what? Maybe they're one and the same. Dabs, puns, it's all a, it's all in one. But right now it's four to two for Echo Japan in the lead. I think everyone loves the puns, so why wouldn't everyone love the dabs too? Can't argue with that dabs. logic. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they already called me a pally dad. Maybe I'm just pally dab instead. But right now Yuki got the open shot. Is it going to bounce in? No, unfortunately not. Floating around here, getting picked up by Jun, who has a open pass to Luke VR at Nest, who now is going to hold on to it for as long as they can, making attempting to make the back pass here, but able to be recovering it. Unfortunate accidental clear, it looks like there. And then picked up, recovered here by Luke, who will go for a clear again. Picked up, almost picked up, yes, there, picked up by Jun. And still, still in Japan's side, 
And there we go. Now we're able to clear it. Well, pretty good roll. That's going to go Open to the, the goal, shot. maybe, oh, but oh, just, just missing everything's. there instead as Musco Bear gets the disc back and sends it to the tunnel. They're going to link up on the stacks there for Luke and June, but actually just missing, so they're going to have to rely on their second stack to get back as it slides right by the goal, just narrowly missing as they uh, tip it and get it to the midfield. But unfortunately, Usual is there and trying to send it maybe to his teammate on the Nuggets. Definitely didn't love all the stuns coming out for them, but... Uh, yeah, back and forth hot potato a little bit. Four minutes left in round two. Uh, J Echo Japan trying to force a third, perhaps. The disc now in. Talos' side with Japan in possession. Going for a clear toward the goal, but picked up by usual Seo, who will drop it. I think I didn't quite catch what happened there. But now back in possession of Echo Japan, who will go for the pass. To their teammate just barely off and then slapped out here by Talos still floating around in mid Japan could still have this section recovered and will and. be attempted to be recovered by some stacks uh, floating in flying to the side wall panel uh, it's a uh, June Suzaku and uh, actually having it taken by Muskoka Bear but right back at him so both of them dueling each other and kind of stunning out over here at the top but that said, I mean, June again with another recovery. It's three minutes left in this second round match of uh, maybe looking at a third soon. We got two in a row of OCE and maybe, again, uh, just going to continue that competitive play uh, that I, I keep saying how impressed I've been. I, they're doing it here again, certainly keeping it close. And keeping up the defense for sure, making sure that we get this third round. You're picking it up, going oh. for a long shot. That is definitely a good sign for Japan wanting to go into this third round, trying to take <laughs> this win. I'm thoroughly okay. I, I'm starting to turn around. I'm thoroughly entertained now by Kaz. Every, t I, I'm just, I'm. Anytime Japan takes a shot, I'm hoping it's from Kaz, just so I can get one of those reactions. Uh, this time, getting something different from a dab. I'm, I'm kind of on board. I like this vibe that they've got going on. Uh, certainly they do because now they are vibing for the seven to two lead. It's looking more and more likely that we've got that round third round coming up soon and uh chat tis i on the cameras as well as the cast today here we have talos looks like they have had time to set up their offense here looks like they have they need more than one goal so this could look good for them but they're still going to need more just barely taking the there unfortunate bounce off the backboard but recovered by usual sayo to put it in for the two now only looking at three points behind. Could Wolverine. still definitely take this back. Did you not listen to what I said? To what I said there, Wolverine? It is I! You lie! <laughs> uh, I, well, uh, I'm on cams and casting. Wonder T-Man here. Just casting alongside me. Yes, indeed I am. And with a minute and 30, Talos, if they want to take this, they're going to have to get the disc into the side obviously i don't know why that was needed to be said but here yeah we have it in japan's side in talos's possession looking good for them but stolen back by kaz who will attempt to clear it but still in talos's possession missing the pass possibly here but picked up now by echo japan keeping it out still a minute left definitely not impossible oh saved by luke vr Nothing's impossible if you're Echo Japan, because now they're putting together the defense. Uh, important goal there, or important save on the goal, because that just makes things all the more difficult. I think for Talos, they may have to start considering a three-pointer soon, unless they can get a two right about now. They're going to back it out, trying to stun the goalies, going for the three, uh, but will be dragged in after the ding, so usual sale, guaranteeing it. Uh, they made the right but attempt, trying to get that goal to go. Again, the goalie's stun, but once it dinged, the wise thing and just bringing it in at the very least. Looking, yeah, looking on the bright side, at least they stopped it from being a three. At least they kept their lead. As long as they can keep it out of their side for this last 20 seconds of the match, they should be good oh. to be looking at this uh, last hold, third round. Hold on, hold on, hold on, because the shot is on! Oh. And that's going to be the win to Talos! And adios! Man, what a back. hit from deep! Taking it back in the last couple of seconds is Talos for the round two win, taking this match in the bag, taking it in the bag, that's what you do. Oh, that and is- now we have- That is yes, tough, that is have. tough for uh, for them because 
the last possible thing. Whatever the rollout occurred, I mean, not having someone at the goal is what did them in. That is where it kind of turned around for the worst. Unfortunately, that was so. We almost had the third round. It was looking guaranteed, and then they came back and, well. Wow, what what a finish, and OCE has been providing a lot of these game-winning shots. This has to be, I think, the third, at least the third one uh, that I've casted, just uh, in terms of game-winning moments in OCE, uh, in, in what is ultimately a lower amount of games, and yet the amount of highlights at the end has just been really high, so a crazy turn of events uh, favoring Talos. They meet their nine points in both rounds one and two. Yeah, we definitely, we saw in that second round, Echoes Japan's defense particularly was looking great. Saved many, many uh, shots and keeping them mostly out of the side as much as possible. And then, yeah, just unfortunate for Echo Japan with that last three-pointer from Talos. Yeah. But definitely looking good for them this season. I have, I have hope for this team. They're doing, doing very well so far, from what I've seen at least. Yeah, they're a, you know a team that will indeed be on the rise, I think. And meanwhile, for Talos, I'll well, just gotta praise him uh, coming back. And this is uh, the second time that I've been able to cast him. First time was back in week one, but yeah, looking good here. And they're gonna be able to improve that record, get closer to that fifty, that fifty-fifty, and wins and losses. So, well done on their part. With that said, we've got our uh, next match coming up here rather soon. Uh, gonna be Hydra versus Outlaws, uh, OCE match, and that's gonna be hyped for short. So with that, quick intermission. We'll be back in the next next uh, handful of minutes. So do stay tuned. Plays featuring season three, week two, in this match between Spaghetti and Synapse. At number 9, you've heard of ankle breakers, but how about wrist wreckers? The risk taker Oculus Sater shows the handles. In real life, you might jump for joy, but in Echo Games, you jump for Jack. Which is to say, this didn't produce much of anything for Al, but the entertainment value alone deserves the 8th spot. A 2 for 1 highlight at number 7. First, it's a partial save to deny an extra point for Meatballer, but Zack, more importantly, putting Synapse ahead late in round 1. At number 6, it's nice passing from Spaghetti, but then it's Zack with the Heady, which, as it turns out, becomes a recurring theme in this game. Up high at high five, it's Zack with the tough mail slot angle, clearly moonlighting as a paperboy pro when he's not playing Echo. At number four head, it's Dotcom, the master of his dome, Mang, with the headbutt save while he's stunned. At number three, there is no three. Goal looks pretty open, and yet it's Dotcom again, taking points off of Spaghetti's plate. Next up, it's Kanamara walking the dog and picking up number two with that nasty bait. Call him a con man, that was dirty. At number one, it's Zach W boosting into a flawless headbutt pass for the caption three. That is absolutely ridiculous. Back in preseason one, it was Zach who had hit the first ever cloud shot in a pro league scenario. And now one year later, continues to be an offensive innovator on the Echo scene. This has been VRML Top Plays. Thanks for watching. Welcome to VRML Top Plays from Season 3, Week 2, featuring Redshift versus Project Mayhem. Warming up into number 10, take a stretch and get loose with Zeus. Then it's Citizen getting in with a cleanup on Angle 9. Tough one. At number 8, it's a dive and a miss, a dive and a miss, but the Palace Pass will not. At number seven, it's the Law on Patrol. They look away, passing play to Palace. Zeus is all warmed up at number six with a tough fading hit over the defense. 
Then under the fence at number five, it's Palace with a sweet threat to Vanzi. At number four, it's Zucks with a cloud shot, and he's living on cloud nine. He's a pro. At three, it's Van Z through the three defenders, then the law with one more to be love in the finish. If you're anticipating number two, well, so was Supreme, a real student of the game with reads like those. Finally, at number one, it's a three for one from Zucks to open up the second round. He gets a save, a save, and then a little razzle, a little dazzle, and some snazzy moves all around from Zucks, starting off what was an absolute avalanche of a round for Redshift. This has been your VRML Top Plays. Good afternoon, Jackson Jills. I am Monsieur Demuy, and this is 3 Minute Meta. In this third installment, we are going to cover defensive gel schemes. So I'm going to throw a whole bunch of numbers at you, and then we're going to break them down. 2-1-1, 1-2-1, 1-1-2, 2-2, and 1-1-1-1, that we're just going to call this man from here on. These are your basic defensive gel schemes. With the exception of man coverage, the three numbers correspond to three assignments in the following order, forecheck, midfield, and backfield. The numbers represent how many players you're committing to each of these assignments, and pairs typically represent chain pairs. So we'll start with the most common, and so likely the one most familiar to you, the 2-1-1. This game is typically run by sending a chain in the direction of the opposing team's quarterback, sending one player up to mid, typically to cover a pass option, and leaving a player back to guard against long shots, deep passes, and clears. It's the most common style of defensive coverage because it also tends to be the safest to run. Any players... All right, hello everybody. Uh, welcome back. We've got, well, your second match in a row of OCE, which is to say we got ourselves Hydra. We've got Outlaws. These two teams as, what are they doing? We already, okay, look, we already got the double dabs. Now someone's playing Mimage with Punda. That's mod abuse, Ducks. <laughs> um, yeah, all right, well. Whatever the case is, we got Outlaws and, and Hydra. These two teams rating uh, definitely supreme, having some fantastic games. I mean, it, look at the record, nothing more should be said. Uh, five and one for Outlaws, three and one for Hydra. Uh, talked about in the last match, Echo Japan versus Talos, I was talking about the game winning situations I've seen. Uh, we've seen that from these teams, okay? We've seen game winning, winning shots, we've seen game winning saves. So, if that is anything to uh, go off of, I'm expecting some heat here today. As Firefox over there, as I browser the chat, says to hydrate! Well, don't mind if I do. You hear that? That's a fresh crack, uh, crack bottle of Dr. Pepper. Not sponsored by them, of course, but one day, one day. Uh, who we are sponsored by, though? Of course, is the Fixed Gaming, as well as HyperX, uh, Rebuff Reality, Asterian Products, VRWare.net, 
VR cover! And ProTube VR! I had to challenge myself and just say them all out of order compared to what I'm used to. But see, I got them. Got the old mental list in the noggin as Panda now doing push-ups. Pun-ups. That's my exercise. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Oh! Wow! Goblinity! Put it in the muscle! Wow! I'm pretty impressed. Uh, that took- that took some- some skill? That took some work. Uh, I'm tired just watching it. Might go to sleep right after this. So strong! So strong. That said, so long to the scoreboard screen because we got ourselves the game starting off here. So, as we head out into the launch, uh, we'll be first grabbed up top. Looking like, perhaps, perhaps, outlaws just, just trying to find that rhythm at first here as they gather themselves. There's a uh, Gish... Nishku. Now sending it over to Cosmu. Now over on the right lane clear, that's gonna be out of there, but Cosmu and Tom looking for a recovery on that boost. One gets stunned, but will it matter? Probably not, because Panda's got the shot. It's two for Panda and Outlaws. They got the first goal. 30 seconds in, just about. Just, just about. Uh, oh, Super Buddy! What's gotten into you over there in the Twitch chat? <laughs> I don't know how to react to that. I don't know, I don't think Newton Dad knows how to react to that, so I guess we just won't. Uh, over here though, Slamish with the disc. I'm gonna roll it up the floor, looking across and over to the Pac-Man, taken back by uh, Shadow Rainer. Rainer, looking for that! I think it was a pass, but it doesn't matter because it was also right into the goal. Uh, that was soft, so I think the intention was for a, a catch, but nonetheless, the results just the same are what they wanted. So hey, with that, three points, and a one-point advantage at that, going uh, their favor, as Tom sends it out. Uh, I'll be taken here, right past Sands of Goblinity, now sent over to uh, Cosmo. Cosmo rolling up the floor, needs to back it out, uh, had nowhere to go uh, in terms of the forward momentum, so hey, good move. Cosmo though, getting moved out, and oh, the jukes, the dancing, getting a little fancy with the handsies, but Goblinity sending it over to the left lane, and now that's going to be out of there now, and as we know, people just really aware of uh, how to paint those walls and try and get themselves those goals as a passing play. Hand off uh, from Ducks to Slamish. Didn't know Ducks had hands, but I only had to for a, a nice pass like that. So hey, it's five points. Hydra taking that small advantage. As a joust advantage goes right back. Uh, so Cosmo, sending it up, and sending it down. Uh, just uh, contesting on the brawls, but that's about all they can do at the moment, as whoop, hiding right behind the bow tie, like a gentleman, was Shadow Rainer. Super Buddy saying, you're s saying he's sick in the chat. Can someone make a soup? You know what my, my comfort food is? Make all the time, homemade egg drop soup. Quite, quite uh, a delight. And quite cheap to make, I recommend it. You know, it's it's filling, and you can make a lot of it for not a lot of uh, costs. Good stuff. But that said, you know what is good stuff? This game. Going back into it now. Uh, wishing you well, though. Wishing you super well, in fact. And Panda with the disc up top. Being contested, and Goblinity steals it. Ascends it. Now Stun's following, and Goblinity actually still gets the better end of that somehow. So Goblin eyeing it down. Oh, couldn't find the bottom, but Cosmo getting the disc. And that's going to be an immediate clear that just gets past uh, the hands of Shadow. So deep into the blue field. And as they get themselves inside this bubble, uh, looking for some more stuns perhaps on the goalie. And another backboard shot there attempted but doesn't get anywhere. Tom still gets the recovery, sends it over to the cutting Panda. Panda tapping off and smacking it down. Brings it within one point. It's five to four. Good pass, good back out. And a lot of a lot of aggression. You can see the goalies in there, in that blue zone. Uh, just being pestered by the, the flies or the mosquitoes, I suppose. The mozzies even, that were around that backboard. Uh, so that said, a turnover Gish, looking for that corner goal, uh, gonna bounce off that pyramid, backboarded, and, uh, Goblinity slapping it. Newton loving the 
the behind the goal shot. Well, let's see. There is the shot indeed, but the save of the save and the slap. And that defense does slap as they go right back to the back. And now trying on the attack. But unfortunately, they could not get that disc as it's uh, snagged now by Gish. So Gish looking to send it uh, maybe high to the shoulder. But instead, will go right into the goal himself as Slaymish actually got a grip on it. But could not find the saves. At least... Uh, so says the server, so serving it up, 6-5, to five, one point advantage, still yet to Outlaws. Alright, so, as it's snagged here by Goblinity, very tight game, kind of as expected, quite frankly, uh, between these two top teams of this OCE region, and giving me a reason to get hyped, Slamish! Coming in with a two-point advantage thanks to that three. Hydra, right back up. Wow. Close match for sure. For sure. See a Tannister in the chat saying, Punda, you rock. Yeah, Punda, one of our Fantastic League moderators here of Season 3 joining in. Now, great to have Punda on board. And again, like I said, the OCE participation, it doesn't only apply to teams, it applies to the... The staff, the crew of VRML, between Punda at the mod, we have Pamwell, now Cam Jam casting for us. We have Punda casting the reel and making the highlight reel at that. It's a goal, it's a tie, it's 8-8. Eight eight. With still four left in this game, this round. Nice shot. So lining up their stacks now, eight apiece. Close as ever, gotta say. Uh, again, we've seen game-winning saves and game-winning shots uh, with both of these teams involved <laughs> across the last week or two as Cosmo sends it uh, over to the Ness. Now, Tom unable to get that. There was a lot of power behind it. Uh, but still snagging it up is Gish Nish, but, well, being snagged by some stuns, in fact, as they try to uh, collect and just zoom down this floor for the grab. But uh, Kazmu, oop, just grabbed the wall instead, so had a little less time to work with than he anticipated. Or he had anticipated, as Slaymish gets it by the cloud. Now we have a shoulder pass, either one, but finds the open one. Wow, nice angle from Shadow Rainer. Back up by two. Not the easiest shot, certainly. But a lot of confidence. And three minutes left, and it's a 10-8 to game. Staying as close as it was to start and as close as we expected it to be, for sure. Uh, but on the rollout with 256 remaining, that is a deep heave. Uh, that's going to be basically a 50-50 on who gets this. That kind of goes everywhere, so wayward into the bubble and then out again. Cosmo with the collection. Over to the nest, there's Tom. And Tom trying to sneak it by the backboard, but instead that just goes right back at him. And to Shadow Raider on the clear. Stack immediately put together by Tom and Gish. Actually, just more of a tap boost. Uh, no regrabs there, but did not need it. Instead, Gish now going to the back lane for a potential reset. Of course, you can see Shadow Rainer actually well prepared to maybe just go on the offense. The turnaround shot! Oh, the headbutt! Can he get it out? No! Oh my goodness, that was fantastic until it wasn't. Slamish puts it home. Tried his darndest, though. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that is tough. I mean, you gotta hand it off or, or head it off or something uh, to, to them for that kind of defensive awareness. Just the mentality of, hey, I don't have my arms, but I could still do some harm. Uh, using every body part that you can and maximizing every opportunity you got in Echo. Doesn't matter even if you're uh, temporarily disabled by the stuns. You can still do stuff, as proven there. Uh, Gish, and now over here to the Goblinity. Trying to send it through. It's a eight, uh, four point disadvantage rather for the side of Outlaws. They got a minute 28 to make a change in that as a uh, grab by Punda sends it over to Goblin. Goblinity a bit off. But again, what I like here, you see Slamish up at the shoulder. And, and this is the kind of positioning that I talk about a lot of time. You see how he's not getting involved in uh, the, the dog piles necessarily. He's putting himself in a position where if his teammate does recover, which he had a chance to, Slamish will be there for a pass. If his teammate does not recover, they're still close enough in proximity for a pass, or a, a stack. That said, that goal almost going in, not paying for it, uh, someone kind of miscommunicating and leaving it open, but luckily, 
not panning out. Luckily, that is a say against them as it will go uh, to Cosmo. So, hi uh, Outlaws. Still trying to make a comeback. That three would have been much needed. So would that one, but still the same kind of results where just it's near the goal, but not there. And Dusty trails to you, Gishnishku, as Shadow Rainer <laughs> does it twice. Uh, less of a Dusty that time, but still just getting aggressive with the brawls in the midfield. Uh, Retaking that is going to be Shadow. Shadow, well, couldn't quite get that. Just cut off by the defense. And first round, maybe one more goal still going to happen, but otherwise first round is going to go the way of Hydra. Uh, let's see. Tapping it. And one more play, but no. It's not, no go there. But very, very close. That was start to finish. Pretty exciting. Uh, pretty high scoring as well. So first win. Congrats there. Uh, to the side of Hydra. And as ever always, let's see what round two brings us, shall we? Uh, but before then, we're going to go to our stat screen, courtesy of IgniteVR.gg. And take a look at what's what. Now it was uh, going to be Punda with six points uh, for Team Cosmo and Tom, each with an assist there for Outlaws. Well done on their, uh, their behalf. Uh, Gish Nishku with a couple saves and four stuns. Uh, on the side of Hydra, coming in the technical underdogs uh, at that. But again, based off what I've seen uh, on their streams, I, th I believe this is the third time, third or fourth time I've streamed them. Uh, each time that I have been able to stream Hydra, uh, they've impressed flat out. Now, obviously, Outlaws, same thing. Uh, there's nothing you can't be impressed about with that 5-1 and one record, number two currently. In, in the OCE League, but, you know, Hydra is definitely right there. They're, they're uh, showing what they're made of every time they get streamed, so I would not be surprised necessarily to see a Hydra victory or a round three, you know, despite the, again, technical by the MMR, by the, by the standings, the technical underdog situation. I mean, these teams are all uh, competing at, at very, very high but but close nearby levels you know there uh, the separation isn't massive necessarily at least in my opinion <laughs> uh, the point is yeah with that you've seen how impressive the record has been obviously for the side of outlaws so with that said exactly why i wouldn't be surprised for that round three is that is almost a goal off of the uh, the headbutt joust cosmo with the disc here and helm redeeming the hydration so i We'll gladly get to that, because that means I get to take a sip of the pep and put some pep in my step as these teams get their step uh, step on into the round, but just stepping through is Shadow Rainer, uh, Rainer instead. Uh, nice job from Shadow. Able to get that to the midfield, where it's eventually taken by Ducks. Ducks, though, kind of a tough angle and had some awkward kind of fading momentum, so it was hard to really place that pass. Uh, that's going to go very close to the goal, but slapping it out, of course. Slamish. Like a... Swatting a fly, basically, there. Get out of my goal. But Cosmo with the disc. Gonna try and take care of this one and gently hand it off to Silver uh, Silver Ridge. Now, Silver Ridge looking beyond. And on the horizon, though, it's a stun from Goblinity. And doing some damage. And trying to guard that bubble with his life. Uh, as Punda takes the disc back, but oop, uh, loses it out. Bit of a mishandle, might have been lost tracking, couldn't quite tell, but that said, Slamish could tell that goal was open, unfortunately not getting the points that they uh, oh so badly wanted. So with that, back into the blue, and we're still deadlocked. Stalemate here, zero piece, minute and a half through this uh, second round. But with that, it's going to be Cosmo! Well hey, collects it after all, and there is the first shot falling for Outlaws. I'm sure they're relieved to see that go through, because... Now it's up to Hydra to react. Alright, uh... Hydration, redemption. Don't mind if I do! And I did. Thank you for that, as Shadow Rainer sends it over to Ducks. So Ducks being contested well by Punda. Just the same, Slamish being contested well by Cosmo. Uh, look at this aggression coming in, almost losing the handles as a result, but they will still get it to Shadow. Shadow! Uh, just being left there above the nest with a stun as Ducks gets the collection. 
Slamish now, finding that disc and just somehow trying to cause some, uh, get some separation, but definitely maybe, definitely maybe, that's a contradictory term, but right now a definitely maybe shot, and actually that makes a lot of sense because look, it was saved, sort of, so, you know, points kind of credit to Silver Ridge, but whatever the case is, it's a tied game, and uh, two piece, seven, 18 remaining, here we go. You just see how hectic it got there around the bubble. I think definitely for Hydra, back pass could have done wonders there just to be able to breathe. You know, being pressured so hard, feeling uh, claustrophobic. That said, uh, not creating or not wasting any time and creating a shot opportunity was Cosmo. What nine seconds flat so fast that our overlays didn't even come back up in time. As a uh, oh, wrong replay, don't you mind that? In the case, 648's remaining and it's still pretty close. Just like it was in the first round. A small advantage being had by Outlaws currently. Let's see if it will last. That's the question, of course. Uh, oh, oh. Oh, well, the goal goes in. And another self-goal, technically, for Silver Ridge. So, he does turn it into a two, it looks like. Uh, but not the results they wanted still. But hey, I think the way you gotta look at it off of that big shot, that big goal... It's basically zero to zero again, okay? It's four apiece, so you're just gonna go right back into it. Uh, Goblinity with a disc from the midfield. There's six minutes still in this round. Of course, the first one going by four point advantage over to Hydra, trying to get through the traffic, but crowded in that jungle of defenders, and that's gonna be sent now into the blue zone. Trying to find their stride is, well, Cosmo, a headbutt attempt after it got stunned. And now finding Shadow. Shadow, that's going to be a very tough shot, fading away once again. And we saw those earlier as well on some of the passes, right? When you, Whenever you have that reverse momentum uh, relative to where you're trying to throw the disc, it's just, it's very, very difficult. You know, oftentimes, it's, it's a cloud shot. Don't tell me! Panda, you savage! That is in from the cloud. And Outlaws! Starting to get to uh, get get it going. I mean that is definitely the type of thing where you can start feeling super confident now on your offense Beautiful hit from Panda The Panda Express Makes me hungry do, uh, Wait, do you guys have Panda Expresses in Australia? Just curious, but nonetheless uh, Slamish with that disc trying to react come back here and it's gonna be to the side panel where uh, will be one-on-one, -on -one, essentially looking maybe like a brawl, but actually no, just a tap over to Slamish. Slamish uh, gets closed off, kind of the elevator doors closing on him because of those two defenders from Outlaws. All the meanwhile, all four players from Outlaws getting back to the disc, but uh, having trouble actually gathering it at first. And now, all of a sudden, it's a turnaround going back to Goblinity. Now, checking behind just to see what the time was looking like, and maybe could have used a little more because the door is closed and the clear is out. Oh, that could have tied the game, and that would have been big. And these uh, final four minutes of round two, just to, again, bring it ever closer. But instead now, momentum sweep perhaps going right back in the favor of Outlaws. Uh, another headbutt from Cosmo, so definitely using the hands and very educated all around. Uh, smart use of the full extent of your echo mechanics. You gotta praise it. Cosmo there. Causing a turnover now. And uh, now with an open goal, that's going to be 10-4 out of tension is Silver Ridge. Now that, after the last couple goals had been kind of self-goals counted towards Silver Ridge, I'm sure he's happy to see that credited towards, well, his team. <laughs> and with that, with that, we got ourselves the uh, six-point advantage. Looking good, looking good. And apparently, apparently... Nightbot given a timeout there. Uh, as it will be, Duck Z looking to, well, time this one out, but took a little too much time, in fact, so was shut out. A pass there cut off by Cosmo. There's some great defense being shown. Uh, you should be able to post clips, by the way. I don't know why. I, I'm pretty sure I whitelisted Twitch if it was a Twitch clip. If it was something else, or maybe if you posted too many at once, I'm not quite sure. Uh, you know how you can be immune to timeouts? You could sub. Wink, wink, nudge. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, but over here, it's uh, nearly going to go into that goal. It's into the bubble, actually. Uh, snagged here, looks like looking like Panda. And Panda looking for the teammate. So quick tap off by Cos. 
And the cause is lost. Lost cause, in fact, as Cosmo couldn't quite hit it, but still having a very good round on the hole. Uh, getting that disc recovered quite a bit. You'll, you'll notice a lot of loose discs tend to go Cosmo's way, and that was a ca uh, case last season as well. Just a absolute midfield menace. Every single time I stream. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, though, a shot could be menacing indeed if that goes in, but just off the corner. Still looking for the stack, the recovery from Goblinity. 221 remaining, and off the backboard, a bit too high. And now Cosmo using ducks as an anchor. Someone call PETA. In any case, over to the grab. It's Tom recovering, sending, but off the cloud now, bouncing back into the orange zone. Uh, Shadow Rainer will secure the disc by that rad logo and to Goblinity. Uh, Goblinity really closed off there. That's going to bounce right back to the barrier where these teams attempt to converge on it, but instead converging on a bunch of stuns uh, like a big old car crash. With that said, trying to crash these boards and crash the tunnels. And right through is Cosmo, of course, sending a bouncer. And that's going to go high to Ducks. So Cosmo with a disc. Sending it over to Punda, and Punda eyeing them down, the, the teammates that is, as they do try and spread this floor. Uh, but mishandling on this pass will get to Goblinity. Goblinity, an attempted clear, kind of bouncing ruggedly. So a bit of control being lost here from both teams, uh, kind of getting chaotic, but that said, trying to regain it, but Shadow could not. So Ducks does actually somehow ducks into the floor, if that even makes sense, but he did, trust me. <laughs> a juke in, into the floor, ducking into it somehow, and still ma managing to maneuver through. Uh, looks strange, but still got it. That said, less than a minute left, we're looking at that round three potentially happening soon. That time is just about winding down, uh, but Punda here taking it and actually getting stunned, so we'll be instead right back to Goblin. Now Goblin to the tunnel, and recovering. Needs to deal with Silver Ridge there, who gets a tap boost off. Meanwhile, in the front lane, goal open, goal close. And they are still in this one, Slamish. Big hit. Not a lot of time, but there is time, make no mistake. Lucy Goosey there is saying, I don't have money, Pally. Play, play door. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> That's okay, I joke. I, as I say all the time, really, uh, it, subs, bits, stuff like that, always appreciated, but really... And I say it without exaggeration, I mean, really, just, uh, I think the most important thing is just having people watching and interacting. Uh, important for, for not just casters, but, uh, more so for the teams, you know? Because if you're not playing for your peers and playing for the folks on Twitch, well, then... Who are you playing for, you know? If you're gonna be on stream, you wanna be seen. <laughs> But uh, with that, happy to say we've got a third round indeed about to uh, come up to us in the next 60 seconds. Now, excuse me for just a minute because hydration, redemption or not, I need to drink. <laughs> All right, thank you, uh, Lucy Goosey. There, see, what you uh, lack in the Twitch funds, you, you have in the channel points, and that that makes up all the difference. So, your hydration request has been grandfathered in, even though it's a bit counterproductive for a caster to be drinking syrupy, sugary soda when he's trying to talk. But I'm a man of Asking people to, to do as I say and not as I do, I guess, at least when it comes to that in particular. I can't, I can't resist the pep, I'm sorry! Anyway, uh, with that, we do have a timeout, it seems. It looks like one of the players from Hydra have uh, potentially gone to restart or some something of the sort. I'm not, not positive on the situation, but with that, expect a slightly extended intermission perhaps here as we get situated, or as they get situated. But in the meantime, you can see the scoreboard here. Hydra 
Uh, Raiden Hai off that first round with the 10 points to Slaymish, two assists, three saves. I mean, that is a mammoth effort from Slaymish, no doubt about it. Uh, stat line, I mean, in the two rounds thus far. But yeah, his teammates here also contributing a goblinity with an assist and three saves, three steals. So, I mean, again, defense. Shadow Rainer, five points, one assist, three saves. Uh, defense. <laughs> Uh, and Ducks, one assist and 21 stuns, which defends through, well, brawling. Uh, meanwhile, on the Outlaws side of things, we see uh, Cosmo with four, one, one, and two. Between points, assists, saves, and steals. For Panda, it's nine. One, one. That's an emergency. But two steals as well and 27 stuns. Silver Rich with a few points and assists, three saves. And uh, six stuns. And then for Tom... 1-1-1. One, one, one. That's the 4-1-1 one, one as he got the 21 stuns. And Gish with a couple saves as well. I, I I won't lie. I kind of miss when one dipped out and the other came in. So apparently I'm not doing my job as a caster to be at attention. But nonetheless, there's your stats. Uh, we still have only seven players in the match. But I will actually go back to at least the uh, gameplay screen for you guys. And let you look at something different, I suppose, for a couple minutes. And as I say that, it just... You're introduced by the scoreboard first thing. Anyway, here's the players. <laughs> and, of course, you can turn on the old timeout music. Hopefully you get one of the, the tracks people like. Which is to say, our great tracks provided by Fixed Gaming, of course. You'll notice a lot of Fixed Gaming tracks on our uh, streams, as well as our YouTube channels and uh, the stuff that's coming out from our content creator team. You might have seen from Rosie Hope just over this weekend, she put out the video be uh, of Spaghetti as well as Ethereal has uh, interview videos out for both of them. Meanwhile, Lanzen also made a awesome Spaghetti video for his channels uh, and for us to show on VRML, which are just amazing. Uh, spaghetti and Joker video. Uh, his stuff is always just incredible to watch. Love his stuff. Uh, I made a couple top plays videos you might have seen going kind of top 10 type countdowns. It's not necessarily 10. Limited to 10. Uh, sometimes it's higher and lower, just depending on how many good plays that I got. But that I've got. My grammar is something else tonight. Sorry. But uh, with that, yeah, I I'm really, really happy and, and proud with uh, what our content creators have, have been able to do and the work that, uh, that they continue to put in. You know, it's very cohesive effort between basically players, moderators, casters, cameramen. Uh, governors, board members, uh, just, yeah, you talk about community effort, people ask what that means when we talk about VRML being uh, community, community driven, community ran, I mean, that says it all, just look at, look at the sheer amount of participation that we have on all aspects, you know, firing on all cylinders across the crew. Really something to be proud of, and hopefully something uh, we, we stick to as the game and community does get bigger. You know, I know it's e easy sometimes as things go super mainstream as Echo is, well, destined to be, and continuing to trend towards. Easy to get kind of lost in the mix. You know, the individuality gets a little lost at times, but... Hopefully, hopefully, maybe, 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 those thousand times that I've said, you know, be happy, healthy, safe, and be good to each other. Hopefully that actually stays, uh, stays in the, the old noggin, the back of the head somewhere. And, you know, as we grow, we'll be continuing to look at this as the good old days, won't we? <laughs> because in the grand scheme of things, no, that's where we still are. I fully expect in like, you know, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, be looking back, playing Echo Arena 2, 3, or 4, or maybe, you know, some other, some, something along those lines. I don't think this is ever going away, whether by game or by genre. We'll be looking back at the, these moments and saying, hey, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. <laughs> but with that said, we do have... Eh, well, not all four players back, unfortunately. Uh, but I believe... Possibly, probably... The timeout had been expended. You're, you're allowed five minutes between, uh, between rounds. You can take five minutes freely. But the thing is, I'm kind of curious here. Maybe I even, shouldn't even say this because it's like a... Oh, not really a loophole. I don't know. Uh, with that said, timeout off, round underway. I was going to say, I w maybe you can expect an immediate timeout from Hydra to basically take an extra five minutes. And oh no! Tom! Gets the goal! What? That was cracked as my voice. Uh, Goblinity is back in the game, though, and that is the important thing. So, 
I was gonna say, after what we what we've seen, I don't want to see round three end in a three v four. This game has been too too good for that to happen. Uh, so I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. <laughs> uh, that said, with that, they do actually get their fourth back. So I mean, a little bit damaged by the three, but they got time, so no no big deal. And uh. I am realizing I didn't actually activate the round three overlays. Kind of forgot it because I was already in the gameplay screen. So, whoops, I'll fix that in a moment. Don't you worry. That said, it will be Shadow Rainer driving in, but gonna be taken back by the stun right to the back of the head. I feel like that's illegal, at least in MMA, but I guess uh, this ain't UFC, but we did just see Cosmo do the flurry, the tornado play, and now trying to whirl it in. And a shot again. Panda just inside the line. I thought that was a three, but apparently... Not the case either way, though. It's a five point advantage. I wonder if anyone caught me typing in round three there. I was changing before your eyes like magic. The magic of live production, but Shadow Rainer trying to find some magic, and that is a say, trying to get back in this game because a lot of momentum has certainly gone the way of Outlaws across this round, but extending to last last round, they're really starting to find their groove. Uh, so Slamish gets that disc back around that post, so <laughs> tapping back out. Not often you see a backwards juke like that. You're, normally you expect a little, you know, uh, ring around the rosy type thing on that, on this post, but instead, Backed it out. That said, they did lose it out. Some nice defense uh, from Outlaws. Outlaws. And nope. That clause is closed from Slay Mish. And that is right out of there. Uh, causing some havoc on the defensive end. I can't overstate actually how many amazing saves we've seen on streams today. For you guys who didn't tune in earlier as well in NA. Oh my goodness. Uh, across some of those matches in primetime that I was streaming. Ridiculous. I just, I'll say that much. But that said. Oh. Silver Ridge. We've seen that three times now, where Silver Ridge, Silver Ridge has just had the little bit of a disadvantage on the ping, and that, uh, that's gonna sting. It's gonna sting. Ouch. But that said, two points, two points, and that is what they've got for Hydra, and they needed to see that, and they got it. With that, Tom over at the midfield uh, will be evasive. Wow, uh, just evading Shadow somehow, I mean. Really bold, and maybe too bold, because you know what, fool him once, but can't fool him twice, at least not on that occasion. That said, it will be Silver Ridge now coming through. So kind of both sides here holding onto the disc a little bit too extended, it seems like, as the defense now trying to get back into the goal in time, because otherwise the numbers might not be in their favor. But wow, a nice dive and stun on Cosmo as Slamish gets a clear. Well prepared now are the stacks, and here they go as it uh, is recovered, pinned, and Tom. Trying to send it out as Goblinity recovers. They have some passing options. And Slay Mish on a mission for success. And there you go. One point game in round three. Now all the meanwhile. I will be up here, uh, Tom, with that disc. And over to Punda. Uh, Panda sending it to the other lane, but just a good read by Shadow. Just kind of, uh, well, shadowing it all along the way. Knew where that disc was going to be intended, if, uh, should it have been a pass. And, well, right place, right time. Trying to find a opportunity here for them is Tom. What a snag of the shot. Not same results though that they wanted, but that was still great defense. Uh, Panda with a disc. Panda evading, but maintaining now uh, the disc. Still yet, Panda with a chance. Five to four, one point advantage. Silver Ridge up high, gonna bounce it. A tough catch, certainly with the defense in the general vicinity. And that's gonna be uh, cleared partially at least into the left lane over by the trap. Now, all the meanwhile, Silver Ridge taking that and a bounce shot perhaps, but no, there is a, a goalie there, Slamish, just waiting and waiting. And now the disc awaiting either of these players to get back into it if they can. Uh, Panda. Another heave, and that's just going to be, well, perhaps another grab uh, right there by Ducks. So control being lost and found again, apparently, uh, as Goblinity. I mean, there you go. I, I think the first team who can just 
you know, find find a pass basically. Find a, a stable pass where they can hold on to it for more than a couple seconds. Uh, they'll be able to get some rhythm. But right now, it's turning into one of those situations where both teams feeling a bit out of sorts. Trying to find that stride with four minutes left, a little bit over that in this final round, a decisive round of this uh, top tier OCE match between between Outlaws and, and Hydra. I mean, right now the, the goal was exposed. Did not finish the shot. Uh, oh, shout out by the way, Newton Dad, thank you for the tier one sub. Thank you very much, very, very, very much. And right now, trying to get there very, very fast, but just out of range. But that said, Goblinity was there in the mid lane. Goblinity is there, but insane was Silver Ridge. That was not silver, that was gold. Finally getting one of those saves to go his way at that. And you love to see it, especially after the uh, rough ping ones earlier on. But that said, now pinging and ponging off is Goblinity and Shadow Rainer. Uh, they're going to get the disc though for Kazbu and Co. Outlaws losing the disc here, and the handle's going to Hydra. Hydra. Up the floor and back to the other side as the stacks now uh, attempt to gather. And let's see, first to it. Well, it was going to be Outlaws, but they had misread the trajectory, unfortunately. So now a one-on-one uh, -on, -one on the floor there. Ducks finding the boot pass, but that's a little too far out and strong. But that said, Shadow Rainer. Oh, another one. This time, Tom, a big grab right outside that goal, just a few feet out. A lot of great opportunities, but the defense from Outlaws is providing. Can they do it another time? Let's see. They will. Sure thing, Punda. Off it goes. The defense here, really, really nice uh, coming in, in from the side of Outlaws. That was three different opportunities that they just stifled. So that said, a pass. A bit strong. Bouncing a few different times now as it's gathered at the bottom by Punda. Uh, over here, Tom on one corner getting stunned and just contested with, so I like this. This is what I said earlier, right? The first team, when it gets crazy, who can just slow it down and find a little stability. Sometimes it's all you need, because Echo is an intensive game. It's an aggressive game, and that's an aggressive shot. Rebounding it, and Cosmo just happened to be in the right spot, and it's not a coincidence. I told you, he has a nose for the disc. So, Cos Cosmo doing a, a great job. With that three-point advantage going the way of Outlaws. Still anyone's game, without a doubt. Goblinity looking to Shadow, but a turnover. This could be very costly. Final two minutes. So, Punda kind of eyeing it down, looking for maybe that uh, shot off the ceiling. A rebound will be had and made. Guess who? Cosmo. On the Cosmo. Endlessly, just perpetual motion from Kaz, just because. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think that was one too many puns. It's okay when you do one or two, but by the time you get to the third one, you just gotta cut it out. But nonetheless, nine to four. Still not out of reach, but certainly the situation of much more dire than it was just seconds ago, and especially with another one. Who is it? Cosmo. Now, unfortunately, he does turn it over to an intercept Goblinity, uh, Goblinity here with a pass out over to the sideline. Will be taken by Punda. Punda has some options, perhaps, if they want to back pass, maybe, uh, but just getting a little bit frazzled and sent astray. Goblinity with the recovery. Uh, one minute and five seconds left. Uh, need a score quickly. Doesn't have to be a three, but it has to be something. Goblinity gets it in and keeps themselves, keep themselves in the game. Uh, nine to six. Same case. They still have time where... If they're fast enough on the defense here, they don't, even now, they don't need a three necessarily. If, if they're fast in this draft and can cause a quick turnover. Otherwise, they will definitely have to eye it. Uh, but coming close. And now we're in the eye of the storm. This is it. Winding down the last 37 seconds of the round. Uh, that'll be snagged by Punda. Punda has a little bit of room to try and wiggle that over uh, towards Tom. Tom, though, getting knocked loose. And now Cosby with a disc. Uh, so now, aggression going to be pertinent for Hydra. It's going to be at a point where they have to almost commit that goalie outside and leave the goal open if they can't act quickly. That's it! It's going to be Punda putting the ice on to the goal, and that is game. Outlaws will take this one in three rounds. Hard fought, without a doubt. Really good game, though. Really, really good game. <laughs> and I will absolutely hydrate Lucy Goosey. <laughs> but 11 to 6. Super entertaining. Uh, basically as advertised, and when I say that, I mean as I advertised to myself. I said to myself, Self, this is going to be a good match. 
And then when I came on the stream, I said, Stream, I, this is going to be a good match. And then it was. So we're winners all around here today. But none more than Outlaws uh, with a, uh, again, increase, increasing their uh, impressive record already. Uh, another win. They're, they're sixth, I believe. And yeah. Ignite will confirm for me here in just a second. <laughs> My memory serves. Probably should have wrote, uh, written it down, but nonetheless, Outlaws, yeah, there you go. Six and one after this game. Uh, for Hydra, three and two, so still incredibly respectable. And as I said, it wouldn't have been a surprise to see a, three, a third round. Wouldn't have been a surprise to see a Hydra win, necessarily. Uh, the underdogs, but not by far. And they're continuing to prove that it's not a mistake, it's not a fluke. Uh, every single game I've seen from them, they have been very, very strong. Outlaws, same case, same case, absolutely. So this competition at the top level of OCE, it is starting to boom. And I'm, uh, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. But that said, uh, thank you guys uh, in the chat again, tuning in here, especially for a good portion of you at least. A uh, portion of you, a little bit later in the night. But of course, for some of you, just prime time. And I thank you just the same for joining. Uh, Good Goblin, Gold Goblin, asking if there's another game or not. Uh, no, there is not, at least not on stream. There is one more OCE game, but that is not for another uh, four hours or so, five hours. It's it's quite a ways away, and I imagine I won't likely be awake for, for that one. <laughs> Maybe, but... Uh, Thunder Dash. Oh man, Thunder Dash, you just pulled the lulls are the best. <laughs> Last season, it was uh, Lulz from High Voltage, uh, who we always saw coming in right at the end of streams, or when he did come in sometimes early, then the match would be delayed. <laughs> so, Thunder, well, thanks for joining, but yeah, the, the matches now, two in a row for OC, are in fact over. Uh, unfortunately, but it was a fun one. They were fun ones. You got, you got some VOD footage to look over. <laughs> um, or if nothing else, of course... You're going to have more live matches probably within the next 12 hours, as is almost always the case, right? So, hey. Uh, but with that said, quick look at the stats before we part off. Uh, for Outlaws, Cosmo provided the 8 points, 3 assists, 1 save, 2 steals, 24 stuns. Panda with 13 points, 2 assists, 3 saves, 3 steals, 39 stuns. That is, wow, uh, quite the stat line. Uh, you have... Silver Ridge with three points, one assist, five saves, six stuns. Tom with three points, one assist, one save, and five st uh, five steals and 34 stuns. Uh, Gish Nishku, uh, in the moments he was in the game, for the two saves and four stuns. And then Hydra got themselves on their side, uh, two from Goblinity, uh, an assist and a save. And then Shadow Rainer, five points, two assists, three saves, and one steal, 29 stuns. So another full stat line. Which brings me to Slamish with a 12, 2, and 5 in points, assists, and saves, as well as 1 steal and 15 stuns. Very impressive uh, in his own right. And then Ducks with a save, a steal, and 19 stuns to round things out. So we've got the Ducks, and in the chat we've got the Goose, and the both of them he keeping me hydrated. So, hey, we had Hydra, and I had hydration. I appreciate you guys for joining. Uh, Newton Dad, thanks again for the tier one sub and stopping by. Uh, Lucy Goosey, uh, see you later. We got a cool dog in there, and I'm glad glad you joined us as well. So hey, and also well bye, <laughs> and making sure I just don't miss anyone else or any other comments before we uh, part out for our final stream here. Uh, Lolo V, of course, thank you as well for stopping by and engaging. Tanister. Taninster, excuse me, and Tim Fun and Cam Jam earlier on as well as Mayonnaise, Firefox. I think that covers uh, most players. Of course, we see some of these players also from the game actually popping in the chat too. Uh, for one reason or the other, won't get too far into that. But yeah, shout out to uh, Kopesh, uh, Gishnishku, <laughs> and Anime as well. Thanks for joining. Been an amazing time. But that said. That's it for us here, so as I said a little earlier on during the timeout, and say it one more time here. Hey guys, be happy, healthy, safe. Be good to each other. <laughs> uh, and we'll see you again pretty soon. Take it easy.
Season 3 of VRML Echo Arena is brought to you by HyperX, Rebuff Reality, Asterion Products, ProTube VR, VR Cover, Fixed Gaming, and VRWare.net. <laughs>